Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to determine if two ratios form a proportion using cross multiplication. Now remember, a proportion is formed by equal or equivalent ratios. In other words, equal or equivalent ratios are proportional. Let's jump into number one, where we have 8 to 3 and 11 to 7. Now, when it comes to checking if two ratios form a proportion using cross multiplication, all we need to do is cross multiply and see if our cross products, the numbers we get once we multiply, are equal or not. If they are equal, then we have a proportion. If they are not equal, then we do not have a proportion. Let's start by setting our ratios up in fractional form and setting them equal to each other. Now, they may not turn out to be equal, but for now, set them up as a proportion. We have 8, 2, 3, and 11, 2, 7. Now we can cross multiply, so we multiply diagonally. We'll start with 8 times 7. So 8 times 7, and then bring our equal sign straight down, and now we can do 3 times 11. 8 times 7 is 56. 3 times 11 is 33. 56 is not equal to 33. So our cross products were not equal. That means we do not have a proportion. 8 to 3 and 11 to 7 are not proportional. They do not form a proportion. So we can write this out as 8 to 3 is not equal or not proportional to 11 to 7. Now one more thing I do want to mention about cross multiplying these ratios. Don't get too held up on what numbers to multiply first or which diagonal you should put on which side of the equal sign. It will all work out the same either way. So if you do 3 times 11 or 11 times 3 first and then 8 times 7 or 7 times 8, that will give you the same answer. Just make sure to multiply diagonally and have the equal sign in between your cross products. Let's move on to number two, where we have six to 10 and nine to 15. We'll start by setting these up as a proportion. So six to 10 and then nine to 15. Now we're ready to cross multiply. We'll start with six times 15. So six times 15 and now we have 10 times 9. So 10 times 9. 6 times 15, that equals 90. 10 times 9, that also equals 90. So both of our cross products are 90. That means our ratios of 6 to 10 and 9 to 15 are proportional. So we can write this as 6 to 10 is equal or proportional to 9 to 15. So those ratios form a proportion. So there you have it. There's how you determine if ratios are proportional using cross multiplication. Cross multiply, if the cross products are equal, the ratios are proportional. If the cross products are not equal, the ratios are not proportional. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.